guys, so I have Melly Rose's 2023 recap tag. So I'm super excited to show you guys what 2023 was to me. So this is my kind of style journaling tag by her and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get on to the video. So for this video, don't mind that we're on my bed. This is not normally what I do but anyway so the first question is hold on I need to pull it up again journals completed or not completed in 2023 so these are all pretty much my completed journals I'm going to show you guys my completed journal this one is my this is from January 1st 2023 to February 6th 2023 and then we got all these memories super cute and then there's this one here this one was kind of a in a slump I was kind of in a slump in this one from February to like July uh, this one is February 7th through January 15th or July 15th so this is through February 6th and then February 7th through July so yeah these are kind of this is kind of like a crazy one that I came into um, this one was journal number 36. This one was journal 37. This one is journal 38. And this is like when I started daily journaling. So, yeah. Tried to start daily journaling. This was Thursday, or, yeah. August 3rd, 2023 through August 11th, 2023. So not too many. We got this one, we got this one here, this one is August 12, 2023 through August 24, 2023, this one wasn't that many, like, this one's super cute, so yeah, this one was journal number 39, this one was 39. This one was 40. This one took a while, too. And this one was August 25th, 2023, and then it ended September 30th, 2023. So this is when I got 33, uh, 333 subscribers in my journal. So yeah, I can actually show you guys this. It's super cute. I love this, like, little out. Um, yeah, so... Journal number 40 lived life to the fullest. And then we got this one here. So this got a little chunky. This is kind of when I started journaling every day in this one. And then we got this one, 41. This was my Halloween journal. I ended it, I started it October 1st, 2023, and I ended it October 31st, 2023. And this is super cute as well. We got, I'm not going to show everything because it's like private, but you can get a glimpse. <laughs> and then we got these two, which I'm still currently working on right here. So this is the 42 journal. Yeah, 42. Yeah, journal normal number 30, 42. And I'm going to finish this on December 19th. Because I started this one on December 20th. So you'll kind of get why in a minute. So here's a little bit of this. So this one I'm not finished yet by this time. Because I just started writing about this. That's why. And I have like a bunch in here that I'm still working on. So yeah. But when it's done, it's done. And then this will be journal number 43. I was going to do this as journal number 44. But it's fine. So this one, oh. you can no, uh, you can see this. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. That's my name, and then we got this. So yeah, super cute. And then here's the flip through of this, and then here's all the other pages that I need to fill. This might take a little bit because this is like my Christmas slash New Year's journal. So, and I want to, like, put all my pictures in here with my friends and everything. So, this might take a little bit until, like, February. 
but it's till then I am in my January as well so I'm technically in three journals but pretty soon it won't be three journals so yeah that fills up these two for my non so the next question will be the good and the bad of journaling of 2023 so I didn't really get much bad in the journal um I don't feel like it got bad at all except I did get like a little slump in between February through July so I hope this year at least I journaled in between that like mostly in this journal I did go to like Tampa in March and visit one of my great friends which was great and then um last year I believe it was last year and two years ago I can't remember which one was that but yeah and then there's like a bunch of other cute cute memories in here so yeah it's still a good journal but some of it was kind of eh, at the same time so anyway I, I just was in the one I was just in a journaling slump in this and I just didn't want to be in the slump since Jan July and I was just done with this journal let's just put it that way all right, your top three favorite journals of 2023. Oh, this is difficult. I didn't even think about that. I would think this one for sure was one of my favorites because it like went really quick. I just felt like this was a good one to be back, I think. And yeah, so I'd say I liked this one a lot. I really liked this one a lot. This one took me a while to fill, but it still was like one of my favorites. I think this one actually too, like this one in the beginning of this journal, because I really like loved how like it turned out and everything. But I, I overall, I love my journaling. Like I love all of these. I do love all of these. So yeah, that's awesome. Hot. Three journals you're excited to use next year. Well, this year in 2024. So I'm going to push these back. These are show on the road. This one here I'm currently working on. Oh, sorry. This one here I'm currently working on and I'm super excited for it. I was pretty excited to start this anyway. And, um, yeah, so... I was really excited to start this anyway, and who else? Uh, Kelly got this for me, and she also got me another journal, which is this one here, which is another one I might use like in March. I have no idea what I'm using in February yet, so we'll see, but this one I'm trying to use in March would be kind of cute, and it's super cute, and it's super big, and I like it. Like, it's not big, but... Definitely big, bigger than this journal, that's for sure, so. Yeah. And then, this one, I'm going to try to use in November of this year. Maybe, around there-ish. And, uh, this is the Harry Potter journal. It's a Harry Potter one I got from, uh, yeah, Books A Million. So, I love these sheets, by the way. So this is what it looks like in the inside. Super pretty. I can leave it like this if I want to or decorate over it. So yeah, so I think I might use this either December or November to December or October to November. It depends on when. So there's that. What are your 2024 journaling plans? Hmm. I never really thought about it. Definitely journal more. I'm trying to journal like 365 days. So I'm going to try to journal up until August 3rd. Which is when I started daily journaling again. Which was this one here. So I would like to try to do that. And yeah. So I'm super excited about that. And that's pretty much it really. I've um been trying to get some more videos up for you guys and yeah so I'm, I'm just really excited to daily journal again and I do watch Carrie Walker a lot and she's super um I like to watch her also when she like has like a journaling slump or when I have a journaling slump for sure and yeah so 
And these are my three journals I'm super excited for this year. And then I'm gonna, I'm super excited that I have this many journals that I completed. I completed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight journals. I was gonna say nine, but hmm. I think this one's gonna be able to fill up till the 19th of December. So I really hope I don't need to add another journal. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and like this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all soon back with another video. Bye, guys.